Scarlet, I need to talk to you for a moment. Is now a good time? Sure, Victoria. What's going on? I've noticed that the house hasn't been cleaned properly lately, especially the living room. It's been feeling dusty. Really? I clean every day. But what specifically is bothering you? For example, behind the sofa. Or on top of the shelves. I'd appreciate it if you could pay attention to those areas too. Okay, understood. Also, about the meals you prepare. Can't you be a little more creative? I don't want to feel embarrassed when my friends come over. I see. What kind of dishes would you prefer? You should figure that out yourselves. I'm not home all day, you know. Okay, I'll try making a variety of dishes. And it seems like Henry has been so busy with work that the chores are being neglected. But you could help out more, right? That's true. But I also have a job, so I'm doing my best with what I can. That's not good enough. You should be spending more time with your family and not just focusing on work. I understand. I'll try to manage my time better. And when your parents visited the other day, they seemed a bit rude. What? Did my parents do something inappropriate? Not exactly, but I'd appreciate it if they could be a little bit more courteous. I see. I'll make sure to let them know. Are you really thinking about this household? Of course I am. It's not enough to only feel that way. What? I need you to take this more seriously, or it's going to be a problem for me. Okay, I'll try harder. Please do. And one more thing. Yes, what is it? You mentioned you had plans to go out with friends this weekend but I need you to cancel them. Well, that's going to be a bit difficult. I've already made plans. You should cancel them for the sake of the family. You can make plans with friends any time. I'll think about it. You should really change your attitude. My attitude? Yes. You need to be more humble and listen to what I'm saying. All right. If you put in more effort, it would make things easier for me. You're getting a bit cheeky, Scarlet. Could you respond quickly? Victoria, what is it? I have some good news for you. You'll be leaving this house. What? Wait a minute, Victoria. What are you suddenly talking about? Did I do something wrong? I know everything. You're just after my husband's inheritance, aren't you? Inheritance? You think I'm after my father-in-law's inheritance? That's why you're so eager to take care of him, right? Trying to manipulate my husband and snatch away the inheritance? You're nothing but a scammer. What are you even talking about? I'm well aware that I don't have any inheritance rights, and I haven't heard anything about a will that would leave anything to me. If you were a scammer, forging something like that would be easy for you. You're good at drawing on the computer, aren't you? With those skills, forging documents should be a piece of cake. Drawing on the computer and forging documents are completely different skills. Can you please explain how you came to such a conclusion? This is so sudden. I don't understand at all. The inheritance from my husband is all mine. Wait, why are we even talking about this now? This is ridiculous. I'm not giving you anything. Answer my question. This makes no sense. Henry, do you have a moment? Yeah, what's up? I'm really sorry for the sudden notice, but I'm thinking of going back to my parents' house for a while. Actually, I'm already on the bus. What? What's going on? This is too sudden. 
Why are you going back home? Did something happen? Well, your mom started saying some strange things, and we couldn't resolve it, so I decided to take a break. Wait, so what exactly happened? Is mom off on some weird delusion again? I think that's probably it. I have no idea what triggered all of this, but it seems like she's acting on some sudden impulse. I'll send you a screenshot of our WhatsApp conversation so you can understand what's going on. Got it. Send me the screenshot and I'll check it out right away. Also, I'm worried about how you're going to take care of your dad. It'll be fine. I can switch to remote work if I need to, so we'll manage. Dad isn't completely helpless either, so we can take it step by step. I know it's a tough situation, but since you're going back to your parents' place, try to take it easy for a bit. It might be a good chance to clear your head. Thanks. It really helps to hear you say that, Henry. I'll leave everything to you then. Take care on your way back. If anything comes up, just let me know anytime. Scarlet, did you make it to your parents' house safely? Yeah. Sorry for not getting in touch sooner. It's been pretty hectic. No worries. Don't stress about it. By the way, I saw the screenshot. What is this? Why is the inheritance coming up all of a sudden? Exactly. I have no idea why this is happening either. Just so you know though, when I got home from work, Mom was in a great mood and had made a feast. Oh, I see. Anyway, can I show Dad a screenshot from WhatsApp? I don't mind, but are you sure about this? I wouldn't say it's ideal, but there's a reason I should show it to him. Really? If Dad gives the okay, I'll be able to explain things more to you. This might turn into an even bigger mess than we think. I see. But if it's necessary, I trust your judgment. Thanks. Scarlet! Life without you is so much more pleasant, isn't it? Just knowing you are not here makes me feel lighter. It's been a long time since I felt this refreshed. You don't need to come back, seriously. Victoria, is now a good time to talk? Of course, but what do you need? Just so you know, I'm not planning to let you back into this house. I still don't understand what's going on and I can't seem to make sense of what you're saying. I went back to my parents' house because it was clear that you weren't being rational, so I thought it best to take a break. How rude! I'm always calm, and I'm calm enough to recognize when a daughter-in-law is up to no good. That assumption is completely wrong. I haven't done anything wrong, and it's troubling to be suspected like this, but I don't think talking to you in this state will get us anywhere. So I'm planning to stay at my parents' house a little longer. I really don't mind if you don't come back at all, you know. Well, my belongings are still at the house, so I'll have to come by at least once. But for now, I'll leave it at that. Fine. Do whatever you want. But even if you do come back, you won't be allowed in without my permission. Henry, I just got a message from your mom on WhatsApp, and she's saying the same kind of things again. It's hopeless. I just can't get through to her. I see. So mom's still the same, huh? How are things on your end? What is your dad saying? Yeah, about that. I was actually about to tell you. We've got some good connections, and we managed to finalize things just in time. It seems like the formalities are already underway, so we're in a better place now. I see. I'm glad to hear that. I'm feeling a bit more relieved now. They are planning to start moving things forward early next month, so we should prepare accordingly. We need to be ready to respond quickly if anything comes up. Got it. I'll start preparing with that in mind. Let me know if there's anything else we need to do. Yeah, thanks. 
Let's work together and get through this. It's going to be tough, but we'll make it through together. Of course. As long as I'm with you, I feel like we can get through anything. Thank you. Hey, no one told me about this. I said you're not allowed to enter this house without my permission. Did you get my approval? Why are you back here? I informed you ahead of time that I was coming to collect my belongings. I'm just here as we agreed. That's just an excuse. You're planning to steal something valuable from this house, aren't you? I won't let that happen. I'm keeping an eye on you. Feel free to watch me. I have nothing to hide. But since we're in the same house, is there really a need to talk over WhatsApp? Wouldn't it be quicker to discuss this in person? I don't want to get close to you. Who knows what you might do? If someone like you did something to me, it would be a disaster. I see. Are you aware that everything you're saying is completely irrational? I'm just here to pick up my things. Just hurry up and get out. I don't want a daughter-in-law who's after my husband's inheritance living in this house. My poor son, having married such a con artist, you must have tricked him. I don't want anything to do with a scammer, so get divorced and leave. I've practically already left, and we've already divorced a while ago. What? Is that true? That's why I'm here to pick up my things. I'll be done packing soon, so can we end this WhatsApp conversation? I'll leave the house key in the mailbox when I leave. Is that okay with you? Oh, well, in that case, fine. You've finally given up. Never step through that door again. Never come back. Understood. Well then, I'll take my leave. Goodbye. Scarlet! I don't understand this. What is going on here? You know, don't you? Tell me! How long are you going to ignore me? Scarlet! What on earth is this? What's going on? I don't know what you're talking about, so please explain things in order. My husband left the divorce papers and walked out. Can you believe that? And then Henry left right after him. I can't take this. It's all because you've been deceiving them, isn't it? This is all your fault. Give them back to me. Why did this happen? Can I ask you one thing? Where did you get that idea? What? The idea that I'm after your husband's inheritance. Where did you even get that information? Huh? You should know better than anyone. Your actions are proof enough. My actions? Your parents' bakery went under, and now they're buried in debt, right? That's why you're after my husband's inheritance. Excuse me? That's completely untrue. You're trying to steal my husband's inheritance to pay off that debt. I know everything. Our bakery is still doing well, actually. What makes you say something like that? Huh? But when I passed by the shop the other day, it was a drugstore. I thought it had closed down. About that, we just relocated the shop. The old place was too small, so we moved to a new location. Relocated? Nobody told me that. We started feeling that the store was too small for the number of customers we were getting. So we moved about 30 yards from the original location to a larger space. I thought I mentioned this before. I'm pretty sure I did. What? I had no idea. And if the shop were in trouble, I would have reported it first thing. Besides, your husband is still in good health except for his leg issues. Talking about inheritance is really jumping to conclusions, don't you think? It's not something I've ever considered. That's... But I couldn't help but suspect you were lying. That kind of thinking is exactly why your husband asked for a divorce. 
It's your attitude that caused this. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. That's what he told me. But why Henry? Henry came to me, but your husband didn't. They've both chosen their own paths now. What? What do you mean? Henry is with you? But you two got divorced, didn't you? Why are you together? We tied the knot again a little while back. Henry needed to take care of the paperwork to take my last name. Why would he go through the trouble of doing that? Henry decided on his own to take my last name. He also wanted to reaffirm our relationship. What? I can't believe this! From here, Henry would like to speak with you, so excuse me. How could this happen? Mom, it's me. Henry, is it really you, Henry? Am I being tricked? It's really me, I swear. First of all, Dad decided to go into a facility on his own. It has nothing to do with you. It was his decision. A facility? What do you mean by that? Did Scarlet have something on him? Did she force him into the facility? Is that what happened? Of course not. Scarlet must be pulling the strings behind the scenes. That's why you, Henry, accepted the humiliation of taking your wife's last name, right? Here we go again. Mom, you really haven't changed. What? What do you mean? I'm the one who decided to take Scarlet's last name. She didn't force me to do anything. Why? Why would you do something like that? Because I'm tired of being your son. Every time something happens, you let your imagination run wild, create a whole story in your head, and accuse completely innocent people of being criminals or worse. I'm really fed up with this cycle. How many times has this happened now? What? This time, you've gone so far as to accuse my wife of something so serious that she was practically forced out of the house calling her a scammer, and then there's Dad, talking about his inheritance when he's still healthy, making such ominous assumptions. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I can't take it anymore. I'm done. Henry, wait. I can't forgive you for this, even more than all the times before, so I'm cutting ties. No, don't say you're cutting ties. I think you now understand why Dad wants a divorce. What? No! I'm leaving the rest to our lawyer. You even got a lawyer involved? Since, no matter what I say, you'll twist it to fit your own story and make someone else the villain, I've decided to leave it to a professional. This can't be happening. I can't believe this. So, goodbye. Henry, wait! Scarlet, I apologize for everything I've done to you. I'm sorry. So please, lend me $50,000. I'm going to find a lawyer just as good as my husband's and hire them. If I pay enough, they'll surely convince my husband not to go through with a divorce. That's why I need $50,000. Since your parents' bakery is doing well, you must have some money, right? I'll pay you back with my husband's inheritance when it eventually comes. Here we go again with the delusions. Yeah, I'm done with this. Do you really think I'd ever take your side? Stop interfering in our lives any further. Your behavior has already shown us everything we need to know. Don't involve yourself with us anymore. Goodbye. After that, Victoria's delusions worsened even more. Her distrust and obsession with the family intensified, leading to increased conflicts with those around her. She was forced to live alone, and she became consumed by the delusion that someone was trying to deceive her every day, isolating herself even further. One day, she got into a big argument with the neighbors. 
She became angry at the noise from children playing and tried to chase them away. The situation escalated to the point where the police had to intervene, and ultimately, she was forcibly hospitalized due to mental health issues. Unable to admit her mistakes, she ended up living a lonely life. As for us, we are now free from her pressure and enjoying peaceful, happy days. Henry has overcome the break with his mother and is doing well. We visit my father-in-law regularly, and it's reassuring to see that he has made new friends and is enjoying his time there. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.